This question examines your knowledge of the equations governing the properties of light. It asks how many photons of a given wavelength are emitted in two seconds from an argon laser. We're provided with a wavelength of 488.0 nanometers, which tells us that lambda equals 488 nanometers, or 488 times 10 to the negative 9 meters, and the power of the laser, which gives us energy expended per second. In planning your approach, you must determine how to get from wavelength and power to the number of photons emitted in two seconds. You may not know all the equations you'll need, but if you write down at least one, that will give you a starting point. You know that the energy of one photon is given by E equals h nu. Now, you aren't given a frequency, but you know that because the speed of light is constant for all wavelengths, that you can equate wavelength and frequency by rearranging the C equals nu lambda equation to solve for frequency. In other words, nu equals c over lambda. Going back to the original equation, we can now write E equals hc over lambda. Great, we can work out the energy of one photon, so we can work out how many photons we need because we know how much total energy is required by multiplying the energy emitted in one second by the number of seconds for which the laser operates, in this case two. With the equations we need in hand, we can set about solving the problem. E equals hc over lambda equals 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds times 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 488 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. We can do some cancelling of units. First the seconds, then the meters. And the units we're left with are joules, exactly as we'd expect since we're calculating an energy. Punch the numbers into your calculator and you get 4.07 times 10 to the negative 19 joules as the energy of one photon. The energy expended in two seconds is just the power, 5.15 times 10 to the negative 5 joules per second, multiplied by two seconds to give 1.03 times 10 to the negative 4 joules. Cancel the seconds. Nearly there, to work out the number of photons we need, we simply divide the total energy by the energy of one photon. Answer. 2.53 times 10 to the 14 photons. Finally, a quick check. Dimensional analysis tells us that 10 to the negative 4 divided by 10 to the negative 19 should be 10 to the 14, since negative 4 plus 19 equals 15, and 1 divided by 4 gives 0 0.25. 0 0.25 times 10 to the 15 is, of course, 2.5 times 10 to the 14. So we've correctly calculated the answer. And as expected, it's a very large number, because each photon only carries a tiny amount of energy, 